hello friends in this example we'll write our ladder program for the traffic light control so you can see here that it, there are three lamps green yellow and red respectively the output connected is y0 for red y1 is for yellow and y2 is for the green so if i press the push button x20 the process will start the process is like this first of all red light will turn on for 10 seconds after 10 seconds red light will become off and yellow light will turn on yellow light will be turned on for the 5 seconds after 5 seconds yellow light will get off and green light will be on again green light will be on for the 10 seconds and after 10 seconds green light will be off and same process is repeated yes, after that red light will be on for again 10 seconds and this process is repeated one second all the time if i press the stop button that is x21 the process will stop okay. so we have to write a ladder program for this traffic light control okay so for to summarize i will repeat it once again first we will turn on the y0 for 10 seconds after that red will be off yellow light light will be on for the 5 seconds after that yellow light will be off and green light will be on Again, green light will be on for the 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, this process is repeated one second. So to start and stop the process, I need to press the push button one. To, to stop the process, I need to press the push button two. So let us write the ladder program for topology. So let us write a ladder program for this application. So the sequence has to be started when we press the push button one. So that is X20. So when X20 comes, we have to turn on the red light for 10 seconds. So we'll write like this. No contact of X0. So we have to press for that. We have to press the edit ladder button. Now we can write here the ladder program. So we'll write the no contact of X20. That is push button number one when push button one comes we have to turn on the red light so out y0 y0 is the address for the red light now this is a push button push button so we have to latch this address okay so it has to be remain on so we are going to latch the output y0 so we will be latching the output y0 So we, if I press the start button, my output Y0 will be on. So Y0 is nothing but the red light. Okay, okay. Now this red light has to be on for the 10 seconds. So similarly, we'll start a timer for the 10 seconds. So we'll take one vertical line and we'll write the our first timer that is timer number 0 and the preset time is 10 seconds. So for 10 seconds, we have to write 100 because the time base in Mitsubishi PLC is 100 milliseconds. Now it will count the 10 seconds. So when I press the start button, Y0 will be on and similarly my timer will be started. Okay. So after 10 seconds, this red light should be off. So when after 10 seconds, the T0 will come on. Okay. So to on that, we need to turn off this red light. So I will write the NC of T0 over here. So it will unlatch the Y0. T0 so I will write the NC contact of T0 so that after completing the 10 seconds it will unlatch the Y0 so that is red light so after 10 seconds we have to turn on the yellow light that is Y1 so what is the last event in this so that is the timer after 10 seconds we have to turn on the Y1 that is yellow light right so on T0 contact, we have to start Y1 output, again we have to latch this Y1 output, we will take vertical line, so we have latched the Y1 output, Y1 is nothing but the yellow lamp, when this Y1 will start, when the 10 second timer expires, so after 10 second T0 will come and Y1 will be on. Now this Y1 has to be on for the 5 seconds, so we have to start the timer for again 
5 seconds so what will we lose another timer for the 5 seconds so we'll write t1 k 50 now the yellow light has to be on for the 5 seconds so we'll write k 50 okay so after 5 seconds t1 will come and we have to turn off the yellow lamp on this so we will write nc of t1 so it will turn on the it will turn off the y1 that is yellow lamp after when when this is off we have to turn on the green line for the 10 seconds so what is the last event that is the t1 timer on that t1 timer we have to turn on the our last output that is green output that is y2 we have to latch that output okay now this green light will be on when the t1 comes green light will be on and it is latched we have to turn uh, we have to keep this on for the 10 second again so we will start another timer for the 10 second now the timer number is t2 and time is 10 seconds so we'll write k100 okay. after t2 that is after 10 seconds this will go off so we'll write the nc of t2 so it will turn off the green light after 10 seconds so after 10 seconds this will goes off and this process has to be repeated so again y y0 has to be started okay so for that we'll give the parallel of t2 contact in series with this y0 so again y0 will start okay so i'll first write and i will explain you so here in the first line so this is our first run so y0 red light okay so this is the first output this has to be started when the last event comes so what is the last event green light timer that is t2 is the last event on that event we have to again restart the y0 so it will restart the same sequence so we'll first insert a line over here and we'll write ld t2 that is last event and we'll write the parallel okay so when t2 comes again y0 will be on and again it is latched up same thing same time timer t0 will start again okay so the same process repeats repeats one one second okay so last i will explain you so this is my last event green light will be on when the t1 comes y2 will be on it is latched by this contact similarly timer for the 10 second that is timer t2 will be on after 10 second t2 will be on so y2 will be off so that is green light will be off and same moment here your y0 will be on and same with all the process gets repeated again so there will be timer for the 10 second then timer will be 5 second then again 10 second again it will restart the first line so we are writing the t2 okay so instead of pressing the push button t2 will make our job okay so now what we'll do is we'll convert this program okay i will write the comments for this program so we'll go to the documentation and we'll comment this itself. okay so x20 is our push button one y0 is our red light y1 is our yellow light y2 is our green light so t2 is the timer for the 10 second t1 is the timer for the 5 second and t2 is the timer for that in 10 seconds okay so the program is written complete now we'll test it so we'll first write this program into the simulator so there is a button called the write to plc we'll click on that now the program is writing into the so write has been completed the simulation will start okay now you can observe the red light yellow light and green light over here also same way you can observe the timer values over here so, okay so i will press the push button one you can observe that x20 will be on and my timer will be started for the 10 seconds so if i press the push button one you can see that visor is on so red light is on 
टाइम वाइज कर दें फोर सेकेंड फाइव सेकेंड सिक्स सेकेंड सेवन सेकेंड एट सेकेंड लाइक वाइज आफ्टर टेन सेकेंड एलो लाइट इज ऑन अगेन द एलो टाइमर इज ऑन हियर अगेन द ग्रीन लाइट विल बी ऑन एंड ग्रीन टाइमर इज अगेन ऑन So after 10 seconds, again red light is on. So again, this it is restarted this timer. Okay, so this is the sequence. It works. Yellow light is on. So yellow light timer is there. Four second, five second. Again, Y2 is on. Green light. Its timer is on. Now you can see here. After 10 second, we'll see T2 on. Okay, so T2 is on for moment. Short period of time, so it will start Y zero and it will start the timing. So this is how it, this see uh, tra <coughs> traffic light control works. Okay thank you so much